right, so we have the tailgater tire table. I'm gonna try this bad boy out. Uh, this will be the first time I've installed it, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes. One of the cool features about the bag is it has this little minor pocket. So you can put your twisty knobs in. So it's pretty cool. The, the unit does come with this nice uh, carry case bag that is very much, uh, I think, essential for something like this. There's the unit out of the bag. So we'll get this thing started. So interestingly, so this little bar here slides out. It's up against flushing since you slide it out to the desired length, fit behind the tire. Uh, I know in the instructions, I may have to flip that bar upside down to get a better grip on my tire because my tire is a bigger tire. But uh, regardless of that, these little knobs here, you can see uh, you tighten those up on either side. There's another one out there. And that tightens this bar width, so to speak. So it keeps it snug against the tire. It's pretty cool. Um, I didn't have my tripod with me today, so I didn't do this in real time. But this bar right here is actually tucked up in this line. And you'll see these little buttons right there, uh, right there. You know, you just push those in, it folds out. Get to the desired length, tighten it up there. And you're pretty much good to go. This thing literally, you know, obviously you want to tighten it up as good as possible. I think I'm going to have to flip that. Uh, literally it took me like less than a minute to put up. Uh, I'm gonna try to turn around and see if that works and then I'll update you here in just a minute. All right, so I did flip the back brace upside down. These two bars that go in on these side, flipped upside down. And it does work a lot better. So I think if you have normal passenger car tires, you probably leave it like it is. But with this and having 34 inch tires, 285 width is not too horrible. This thing is adjustable out a lot further, so you could probably fit this on 35 pretty easily. Uh, I got this from the blemish sale, which I can't tell anything's wrong with it. So a couple bucks off and good quality table. Definitely try to use this bad boy at core. This little leg here, uh, right here, you I have seen people where they mount it to where that is on the edge of the tire. You could do that, you could unscrew that and then pull it out and put it up against the tire and use leverage on the tire if you wanted to. Uh, might be helpful if you have like dogs on leashes or chains or cords or whatever at your campsite or if you got kids running around playing with toys. Might be a good idea to do that so nobody trips on it or knocks it out. Uh, but yeah, this is awesome. Uh, glad I got this. Uh, don't regret it at all. Uh, would highly encourage it to anybody considering one. So if you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. Uh, and look forward to more content in the near future. Thank you. So, one thing I forgot to do during this was to put the two little legs down that go rest against the tire. They have the quick snap little buttons on it just like the big long pole does. So you have to put those down up against the tire and it more stability. So, just a quick fix. Uh, nothing too major. Thank you all so much.